Ms. Mara Gale, she speaks. You don't know my story. In the book of Leviticus, it talks about if a man or a woman has a flaw or an issue with blood, that they would be considered unclean. I read the Bible every day, and I was reading about different characters, and the characters were kind of coming to life. They were as if they were coming off the page, and the Holy Spirit just kind of revealed to me what the life of these characters may have been like, some of the things that they went through that wasn't necessarily written on the page. So I was getting a, a backdrop, if you will, or a backstory of the moment before something was written or the moment after we pick up a story of somebody in the Bible, be it you know Esther, be it Rahab, uh, and this particular woman is the woman with the issue of blood. When I have this flaw, that means that no one can come near me. You cannot sit where I sat. If you sit where I sit, you are unclean. You must wash your hand, bathe your entire body, and you would not be clean until the next evening. If you sat on a bed and I sat on this bed, you would be unclean too. I had an undercurrent um, desire to help people see themselves in these situations that these characters told. I had a heart for allowing people to, to really get the word, not just read the word, but to read what's there, which therefore gives you an ability to apply it. And when I know that my fingertips could touch the fabric of his robe, I knew in my mind and my heart I was healed. I touched him! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I really felt like I met this woman of Israel. I preached the message so many times, but tonight I felt like I was introduced to her. Oh my God, I was blessed. Very gifted, anointed, teacher of the word, plus an actress, acting everything out. It was absolutely awesome. It kept us spellbound. And what she did by doing that research, not just the research in terms of the Levitical law regarding women who had such an issue, but also she went deeper and she went to the emotional effects of it. Wonderful, wonderful. It was just so alive. It was so believable and you were like back in, in biblical times with her. This visual, I mean, I had issue with blood so I can relate to everything that she said. It was just, I just felt like I was in that moment. She ministered to the men and the women. She ministered to both where, where she ministered to the needs of men to men understand women and vice versa. So there's healing in that. Not only did I enjoy it, it really ministered to me. I'm glad I came. I have a better understanding of myself and my wife. Hey, my name is Mara Gale, and I want to invite you to view She Speaks, or better yet, to book She Speaks to come to your church, or if you have a community organization you'd like to share it as a fundraiser or as a community outreach program, I'd love to be a part of it. You can reach me at maragale.com or maragale at maragale.com. God bless you. <laughs>